Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about trends that look cheap. And these trends are 100% always, for a fact, my opinions. So don't get triggered by this video. I know these videos are normally kind of triggering for everybody, but they're just my opinions. I just think these kind of look cheap. Let me know if you agree. All right, here we go. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't, just so I know. And let's get started. Let's go ahead and get this first one out of the way because I know that somebody out there is wearing one right now. This one, I did not really think about how cheap it looked until recently. And I actually had one just like this and I got rid of it and because I couldn't figure out why I didn't like it anymore. And now I know why, because it looks cheap. And that is a blazer with the sleeves already scrunched up. Yay! They're like sewn in, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna put some pictures up here. I know you can find these on Amazon, but they're blazers, they're really cute blazers, but then they scrunch up the sleeves and then they sew them so that you don't have to scrunch your own blazer sleeves. It doesn't really make any sense and it looks kinda cheap. Once you see this, you're not gonna be able to unsee this. I don't know if these kinds of blazers are for people who can't be bothered to scrunch their sleeves or not, but you just need to do it yourself. There are ways that you can get your blazer sleeves to stay scrunched without having to sew them in with little stitches. So that, in my opinion, looks very cheap. I really think you should stick with a regular blazer and scrunch your sleeves yourself. This next item that I feel like is a trend that looks cheap has been touted as something that can make your butt look good. But they also bring everyone's attention to the crack of your booty and they kind of look cheap. And that is the scrunch butt yoga pants. When these first came out, I was a little intrigued. I did not buy any because I kind of felt like it looked like the person wearing them had a really big wedgie. They have been marketed to us as yoga pants that make your butt look good. And so maybe they do make your butt look good. Maybe they would have made mine look good. I'm not sure. But now whenever I see them, because you see them a lot now, they just look cheap, especially because they come in all sorts of colors. You see them on TikTok a lot in neon colors and it, it just, just not into it. Just stick with the regular yoga pants. Now that being said, if you're in college or you just got out of college, these are probably great. They probably look great on you and it's a great time to wear them and they look amazing and don't even worry about it. But if you don't fall into that category or one of those categories, you might just wanna stick with regular yoga pants. That being said, the ones that are black, I feel like you can get away with. They're not as bad, they don't look like you straight up have a wedgie and people are gonna be staring at your crack as you walk. The next trend that I think looks kinda cheap is fringe, and not all fringe. Let me just be clear, not all fringe looks cheap. Fringe seems to be on trend almost every other season in one way or another, and I feel like in the last few fall seasons it's been on trend, it's on trend now. However, fringe can start looking real cheap if you're not careful. If you get the fringe that's really long or maybe it's attached to a cropped top or it's just very poorly made or it's not made out of the right fabric, it can start looking really, really cheap. Not only that, but if you think about it, this really long fringe that we have going on, that would be very hard to keep clean. And then it's gonna look dirty and then it's gonna look cheap. You probably just wanna keep the fringe as an accent to your jackets or your skirts or your dresses, not the main part of your garment. That being said, I do see pictures of um, street style uh, bloggers and influencers and they're wearing really long fringe, but it's probably a really high quality fringe. It probably lays really nicely and I guarantee you they're not really doing a whole lot aside from getting those pictures made. They're not going and doing their business with three feet long fringe. This might be about the third video I have mentioned this in, um, but shiny snake print. I liked it for a couple days. Literally I think it was a couple days. I liked shiny snake print. And all the other times, I have felt like it just looks really cheap. The whole animal print thing has kind of already had its moment. It's not out of style, but it's just not as big as it was. And snake print in particular, you really gotta be careful with it or it can really look cheap really easily. I think there are a lot of garments that look very pretty with a python print or a snake print, but when it's that pleather, shiny snake print and it's something other than a boot and then it's like your pants or your shirt or even a big jacket, it can very easily start looking cheap. Do you agree? Do you like shiny snake print? Let me know. 
Now, that being said, I do like shiny snake print boots sometimes. I see those on people and that looks, looks pretty good. Okay, this one you might strongly disagree with me. And I almost disagree with myself because I know the reason why I think this looks cheap and it's just kind of a very personal one and it's kind of dumb. So um, those are Plissé pants. Did I say that right? I probably didn't. I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, those, they just kind of look cheap. I don't know if it's the fabric or what. The personal reason why I think they kind of look cheap is because I remember my grandma wearing those and I remember her sliding around the house wearing these plissé pants because they were comfortable <laughs> and they had stretchy waistband. I just don't see them as like a, an elegant, uh, beautiful, classy attire. The other thing about these pants is I find it hard to believe that they're very flattering on a lot of people because they add more fabric to your body and it just makes you look a little bit heavier. I've never tried them on. I can just already tell you they would look terrible on me. So. Tell me, do you think these look cheap? Do they just look bad maybe? Do they not flatter most people? Why is it that I really don't like them? Do I stand alone here? Many a fashion season, will there be some embellishments that are on trend? There'll be pearls on sweaters that are on trends like last fall, or it'll be sequins, or it'll be crochet or diamonds or, or whatever. That's all well and good. However, when you have more than one of those on your garment, it can start looking cheap. If you have lace and pearls and sequins all in the same shirt, it starts looking tacky and cheap, don't you think? Plus if the shirt only costs you $15 or $20 or even $30 or $40, you know that those elements in there were made really, really cheaply because there's no way they could get pearls and lace and velvet and crochet and mix it all together and make it into a top and then sell it to you and it's only $20. Embellishments, even if there's only one of them, can sometimes start looking a little cheap because if they're not made well, <laughs> it'll start falling off or it just this, the hem is not right or the sewing looks a little botched. So you really have to be careful anyway if you have embellishments on your item, but when you have more than one, you just really gotta be careful. So those were my six trends that I feel like look kinda cheap. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. It's totally okay if you completely disagree. I'm sure someone will tell me how my you know, shirt looks cheap or my face or something. People always get triggered in these videos and then they just lash out at me. It's okay, it's all right, I understand. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't. Consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time.